In this tutorial, we'll cover both automatic and manual lip syncing in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. Tip tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut and welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial. Today we're taking a look at the entire lip syncing process in Adobe Animate from start to finish. You can download this file from the link in the description below if you'd like to follow along, but obviously you can also do this with your own artwork as well. As you can see here, we have a very simple setup. I just have a layer with a graphic symbol on it for the head, a layer with a graphic symbol for the body and a layer with a graphic symbol for the arms. Now we're going to do all of our lip syncing inside the head layer. So let's just jump right into things. The first step you need to do is draw all your various mouth shapes or the posh word for this is visemes. And we're going to do this inside in its own mouth graphic symbol. So inside my head graphic here, you can see that I have a few layers, face, hair, nose, eyes, and mouth. And the mouth is just something that I have just drawn, you know, with the brush tool. So let's select my mouth and I'm going to hit F8 to turn that into a graphic symbol, making sure that it does say graphic here. And we're just going to call this mouth visemes. Okay. And let's go inside that symbol by just double clicking it. Now, we basically need a new mouth shape on each keyframe, and then we'll be using the lip syncing features to go through and pick the right mouth shape that we want for our audio. Now, there are a few basic mouth shapes or visemes that you need for lip syncing animations, and these can vary. You can have as many as you want or as few as you want. You might need an entire set for a happy mouth, an entire set for a sad mouth. But essentially, there are a few core ones that we're going to break down here. Now, I'm just going to add a bunch of blank keyframes using F7, like so. And I'm going to click on the first keyframe here where I have my kind of neutral smiling mouth. I'm going to go to my properties and I'm going to label this frame just so it's really easy for us to see. So let's twirl down label and I'm just going to call this one smile slash neutral. OK, now if we zoom in to our timeline, you can see that that has now labeled that frame for us smile slash neutral here. So let's just go through and do all of the shapes that we need. The first shape is a R, ah, the, the, the shape your mouth makes when you make the R ah kind of noise. And you do this all based on noises, not on particular letters, because as you can see, that way you can draw fewer mouths. OK, as well as an R, ah, we're going to need a D, 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 d kind of mouth shape as well. So we'll label that one D. We're also going to need an E mouth shape when you make that noise. Uh, a F is a very important mouth shape because as you see, it's quite a unique f f kind of shape that you make, which is great. You'll also need a L for where your tongue comes between your teeth. And we'll talk a little bit about that later on. We'll also need a M or a closed mouth shape mm -mm -mm, for when you put pressure on your lips. You'll need an O for all the O kind of noises as well. So we'll label that one up. You'll need a R, R because you can see your lips R, kind of like crunched together R, like this. Uh, and we'll also need a s mouth shape because as you can see between s and t are very similar, but sometimes these t or s shapes are the same um, visual mouth shape. Sometimes they're slightly different. Again, depends entirely on what you want. Um, sorry, so that is an s, not a t. Getting a bit confused there. As well as s, we're going to need an uh, uh when you're not sure what you want to say. And finally, we're going to need a Ooh, or a woo mouth shape. So as you can see, that is 12. Let's just remove this frame. That is 12 unique mouth shapes that you're going to need for um, doing all of your lip syncing. Smile, ah, uh, de, e, f, l, m, o, r, s, uh, and woo. Very exciting. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my onion skin so that I've got the original mouth shape here, like so. And in my library on this file as well, I've also got a color palette. So I'm just going to add a new layer. I'm going to rename this layer palette. And I'm going to drop my color palette onto that layer just so that I can just really easily pull these colors when I need them. Could have done this with swatches, but I find it so much simpler just to do it like this. OK, so on our first mouth shape, ah, I'm just going to get my pen tool out and we're just going to draw ourselves a nice sketch and put a new layer underneath. We'll call this layer sketch and we'll call this layer main like so. Give all of these a keyframe with F7. Now on the sketch layer for R, I'm just going to draw the R mouth shape. Now this is a happy mouth. So um, this might be when you say the word aspect, aspect ratio or something like that. Ah. So you can see when I say ah, the corners of my mouth lift. Ah. OK, you can see my top row of teeth. You can't really see my bottom row, um, but the mouth is definitely open. Now, there's one thing that's very important when you're drawing mouths like this. 
And I'm just using uh, the rotate tool to rotate the canvas so that I can draw easier with my pen here. The most important thing when drawing lip syncing or mouth shapes or anything like this really, is that your top row of teeth never moves. So even if you're opening your mouth further for this kind of ah mouth shape, like so, okay, your top row of teeth never move in your mouth. I'm just gonna make this black so it's very easy to see. Okay, so I'm gonna get ah, 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 that's me talking. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. You can see that my jaw moves and my bottom row of teeth balance up and down, but the top row of teeth never ever move. So using the same teeth position here, or roughly, because this is just the sketch layer, we're going to just have the open mouth where this teeth is lower down. And you can see already that's kind of like our ah, mouth shape, yeah? We've got the neutral smile, ah, like so. Perfect. For D, D mouth shape, very similar to the neutral slash smile mouth, but it's probably going to be a little bit wider, okay? So we're going to turn on our onion skin again, um, but this time, what we could actually do is just copy and paste this first one, but we're going to try and draw it together, okay? So I'm going to lock this lower layer on the sketches so that I don't see that for the moment. And this is going to be pretty much the same, apart from I'm just going to pull these lips a little bit wider. And again, this is just the sketch layer. And a little bit shallower. Okay. So we can still see the teeth and he's still making the D mouth shape. E, 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 e. But there's less of a smile because he's straining to say D, D. Okay. And obviously, like in all animation, we just um, extend this, we emphasize this. Okay. Let's pop that on the sketch layer. Right there. Okay. For E, 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 it's going to be very similar between D and R. It's kind of a blend between the two. We need the wideness of the E mouth shape, okay? But we need the closed teeth of the D mouth shape. So it's going to be very much like this, E, but it's going to be, oops, excuse me. Uh, let's unlock that. A little bit taller because the mouth is now open, but still stretch wide. And again, these are just the roughs. I'm going to go through in time-lapse mode and we're going to tidy these up, okay? You might also see a little bit of the tongue if the mouth is open, e like that. Um, that's probably a bit high, it looks probably like a th if we do this. So let's have that going a bit further down like that, okay? Th is a very important one. You need to emphasize the biting of the bottom lip, th, 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 like that. So what I like to do for th is take a similar mouth shape to the D, like this. Let's try that. On the bottom lip, I just like to do some big emphasized curls, like so. And then we can just highlight some of the teeth, okay? Like that. And maybe we'll be filling in these dark spots either side so it's a bit easier to see what's going on. Let's fill those in, Let's fill those in. And let's fill those in as well. Okay, so next up is L. L is very good. I like to, even though this never happens in real life, obviously, um, I like to extend the tongue out past the lips. Nobody uh, like that, do they? But in cartoons, it makes it look a lot nicer if you do, or I find. So also you tend to smile a bit more, so we'll peek up the corners of the mouth there. Okay, we'll draw in the mouth like this. And then we'll have the tongue, which comes out Obviously, from behind the bottom teeth, we'll just have the tongue l like this. Now, if you do a really emphasized l, l, you might need to do a unique th mouth shape. Th and l can be very similar, as you can see. L, th, okay. Um, I find it makes it look like your character has a lisp, though, uh, if you do l and th on the same mouth shape. For this tutorial, I'm gonna leave them the same for the simpl simplicity, but otherwise you can uh, obviously do whatever you want. Now I'm gonna draw these other teeth in because otherwise it's gonna look a bit strange. But now we have our tongue sort of poking out, obviously from between those teeth. Mm is a very simple one, obviously. We can just have a nice flat mouth like this. I'm gonna put a little bit of an upward curve on it because we still want him to look happy like that, but very, very simple. Mm. Close mouth. O 
is essentially going to be a circle, but not a smaller circle, a larger circle. Okay. And again, we need to make sure that our teeth, our top teeth are not moving. So I'm actually going to extend this onion skin out so that I can easily see. Oh, okay. And that is our tongue, not our bottom row of teeth there. Looks good enough to me. R looks very similar to O, apart from you tend to, when you get R, 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 you tend to get a shape that bunches in, in the middle, like that. So what we can do is actually just bunch in those edges. You can see already it's starting to look like a R. And I tend to find that having R, like a slight gap between the teeth, like that, tends to look quite nice. Like so, R, okay. For S, like we said, could be very similar to D, okay. So I'm actually going to just copy and paste this one, but it's not quite as wide. Maybe something like this. Now, if I just erase a little bit extra there to keep the teeth the same width, that's good enough for me, okay. Especially in the sketch stage. R looks very similar to R, but the mouth goes the other way around. Ah, they turn up. Uh, they turn down, okay. So we have our uh, mouth shape and we'll just have a kind of upside downy smile compared to the right way up smile we've had for the other shots. Okay. We don't need to be too much because otherwise they do look sad. You can see already here he's starting to look a bit sad, but we can just bring in those bottom rows of teeth and there we go. We have our uh, mouth shape. Final one then woo looks very similar to O, but it's much smaller. So I like to do a nice tight circle. Ooh, and you can just flip back and forth between O and Wu in order to make sure that you're doing the right ones. And when you're ooing, you might see the top teeth and you might see a little bit of the bottom tongue, but that's about it. So these are all the necessary mouth shapes that we're going to need. And you can flick back and forth through them to kind of see what talking might look like. Okay. And you can use that to check that your artwork is correct. So all I'm gonna do now is go through and I'm just gonna use my color palette to draw these nicely. I will do this in fast forward mode because you do not need me to see me do it. But let's do the, the first one, for example, in normal speed. Okay, so I'm gonna lock off my sketch layer. I'm gonna outline it so I just see the sketches. And in fact, I think I'll make it a color that's a bit easier to see. Let's make it just a straight white, I think. There we go. And on the art layer above, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to select my color palette like this and I'm going to turn on my onion skin, but I'm going to, the bottom layer is locked so we don't see the onion skin for that other layer. Okay. Just so I can get things looking correct. And I'm going to draw the big lips first. So as you can see here, I'm making sure that to follow the sketch, but also to neaten it up as I go along as well, because we, what we don't want, is to follow our rough sketch exactly if that doesn't then look good on the final product. Okay. So it's a combination of following your original sketch and tidying it up a bit. So we have our, our mouth shape. So we'll definitely make that a bit wider. Like so. Brilliant. And let's fill in those lips. Okay. I'm going to sample my dark color here on the background. And I'm just going to, with my properties paint behind selected, I'm just going to paint in the edges of these teeth. Okay, so we have the edge here and the edge here. So now we know that the top of these teeth at least come around like this. And we have our bottom teeth here, like so. Now I can just fill those in, perfect. Go grab my teeth color, bam, bam. So now we have our uh, mouth shape. Okay, let's turn off onion skin uh, and let's hide our guide layer. And let's reset rotation so that we can get rid of that tool. And now you can see what talking is going to start to look like. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward through the rest of these and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so there we have it. We've got all of our different mouth shapes. We've got smile, R, D, E, F, L, M, O, R, S, R, and Woo. Okay, 
First thing I'm going to do now is right click this sketch layer and choose guide so that it doesn't appear outside of our uh, mouth. And I'll do the same thing with the palette so that the only thing we've got left are these uh, mouth shapes here. So I'm going to go back inside my head graphic now. And the most important step after you've done all the different mouth shapes is to choose your uh, mouth icon here, go to the looping options and just choose single frame like so. OK, now we need to pop our audio into our file and we need to make sure that our head symbol is long enough to accommodate that audio. So that's the next step. So we're going to zoom out here on our timeline. We're going to add a new layer inside the head called audio. And it's very important that we do it inside the head and on the main timeline, otherwise you won't hear it. OK, inside my library, I have my lip sync .wav, which I'm just going to drag onto the stage on my audio layer. And I'm going to give myself enough keyframes that I can hear the entire audio file. So let's say a nice round 130 should work perfectly fine. And let's have a little listen. In this tutorial, we'll cover both automatic and manual lip syncing in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. OK, so we now have this as a reference in our head layer. We need to go back to our main scene, create a new layer here called audio as well. Otherwise, your audio will not be exported in the final um, project. Uh, anything inside symbols, any audio inside symbols will not play. So we drag it onto its own layer here as well. And we'll do the same amount of frames, which was 130. Boom. Now, the final step for preparation before we do any lip syncing is to click our head graphic symbol on the main timeline, go to its properties and choose the looping options to play once. OK, play graphic once. That just means it will play from the start to the end and it won't loop. This will stop any issues later on when you add keyframes to animate the head and things like that from messing with the interior lip sync. Back inside our head, then let's take a look at creating this lip sync. And firstly, we'll do automatic lip syncing. Now, I've had mixed results with automatic lip syncing. Sometimes it's fine. Most of the time, I think it's not that great. So we'll just blast through this one quickly uh, to give you an example, and then we'll move on to manual lip syncing. OK, so all you need to do is inside your head layer, select your mouth symbol, which you remember we set to um, play single frames and click the lip syncing button inside the properties panel. This will open up the lip syncing window. And as you can see, all of the names that we have made frames for are inside this lip syncing window. And this is where I got the shapes from. All you need to do is go to click on the single frame you want, you know, R to be, and then click the R frame inside that symbol. On D, you want to click D. On E, you want to click E. And this is why we named them all the same. So the names of those frames don't actually matter, but it's just useful for when it comes to syncing up this little section here. OK. Obviously, this means you can go through and change this later on if you don't like how your lip sync looks. But I think we're going to be pretty happy with it. The final thing to do then is to make sure that your sync audio in layer is on your audio layer, which is why we named it audio. If you've got a different label layer name there, it will just pick any layer that has audio on it and you'll be able to choose from the drop down. Let's click done. It will analyze, create the lip sync for you. And as you can see, it drops all of these keyframes into your timeline which look like this. In this tutorial, we'll cover both automatic and manual lip syncing in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. So looks fine. OK, um, if you're just looking for a quick rough lip sync, this is it. You're good to go. You can drop back into your main scene. You can start animating your character's head movements, body movements, etc., things like that. And your lip sync will be respected. I, however, happen to think that this is pants and not good enough. So what I like to do is a manual lip sync and we'll show you how to do that now. OK, so for manual lip syncing, it's basically a manual process. We're going to go inside the head graphic symbol here. And as you can see, we've just got our standard um, keyframes. Now I've removed all reference to the original um, automatic lip sync. And we're just going to go through and we're going to manually sync this up with the audio. So we have our mouth. It's set to single frame. And we're just going to click this frame picker option, which opens up the frame picker window down here at the bottom. Now you can see my head's kind of covering some of these shapes, but you'll be able to get what I mean. OK, so we are going to click on our mouth layer. That will bring up our frame picker window and we're going to scrub through our audio. In this tutorial, we'll. So the first bit is in this tutorial. In this tutorial, that's how I kind of say it. In this tutorial, yeah. So we can already think and see of some of the shapes that we're going to need. Okay, so. First, we need an in, in, in. When you do in, your, your mouth opens, eh, in, and then it closes, in. So what you might need to do is just hit F6. You need an 
A E A. That's close enough, yeah. A. And then by here, you've closed your mouth. Mm. So maybe we'll go to D for that. In that looks close enough. And then we need a th. This tutorial. So we don't have a th, but we do have a l. So in this tutorial, that's going to look quite cartoonish, but it might look okay. Let's see. Then it goes to s. So what I'm going to do is a very quick open mouth, then down to the s shape, which we're going to use here. Slightly different to the D. Then we've got tutorial. Okay, so you would think it's the er because it starts with the U, but it's not. It's U. It's an U shape in this tutorial. Okay, so tutorial. T again, tutorial. But he actually goes tutor. Then we have a r. And then we have an eel, tutorial. Then we have an uh, uh. Uh, in this tutorial. And then a l in this tutorial. Let's have a look. In this tutorial, we'll cover both. Now that automatic automatically in that short section looks a lot better to me. In this tutorial, we'll cover. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the rest of this now and we're going to create the rest of our frames, then we can come back and tweak if we want to make it a little bit nicer. So I'm going to carry on through this in time lapse mode, but that's pretty much the entire process. So let's jump right to it. Okay, so you can see a little bit of a longer process, but it looks much better. Let's take a look. In this tutorial, we'll cover both automatic and manual lip syncing in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. So it looks pretty great, eh? So that's all of the lip syncing done. If I pop back into my main head scene, you can see we have our audio in the same place and it syncs up. In this tutorial, we'll cover both automatic and manual lip syncing in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. But it still looks a little bit static because we haven't done any other animation yet. OK, so uh, what I'm going to do now is just go through and add some head movements, make him blink, change between some poses that I've got in the arms, and then we'll see the finished product. OK, so I've just added some quick popping between poses and a few head tilts to this. And let's take a look at the final thing. In this tutorial, we'll cover both automatic and manual lip syncing in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. OK, so the animation is very crude, but the point of this tutorial is the lip sync. So that's it for this time around. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that crap that YouTube makes me tell you to do. And if you are struggling with Adobe Animate and want to learn a little bit more in depth, I can recommend my Bloop Animation course, uh, the link for which is in the description below. It's about 60 bucks and it takes you from opening up Adobe Animate all the way through to making your first animation. So please check that out if you fancy it. Otherwise, thank you very much and I'll see you next time for another episode of Tip Tup. Massive thank yous to my level two and above members, WN62, Ian Costello, Error Encountered, MP, Art Viz Love, Mel Adam Hoover, Josh C, Ursula Fomanska, The Saucier, Lali Lulilo X, Andrew Hammond, Jenna Kerry, Jobs Animations, Relic M, Narain Abdilla, Barb Narezna, Lone Wolf 16, Iri D, Maybe Sharma, Kevin Murphy, Mariam Devar, Jeremy Stewart, Lenita Cook, Valava Ashcraft, Red X Superior, Crust, JK Digital Creations, and Tim Fitzgerald. I'm running out of breath. Thank you ever so much. You are delightful people. And if you'd like to become a member of the Tip Tut Zone for exclusive perks and benefits, click that join button below. Subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.